Greetings from TeamRex team. Today we will make a multilingual website using free plugins PolyLang and Locotranslate. We have a separate video for Locotranslate on our channel, so we will focus more on PolyLang. It's a free plugin for multilingual sites. I will use the query theme as an example, so let's get it started. Go to your dashboard, then find Plugins menu. Then click Add New. In the search field, type in PolyLang. Find the plugin and click on the Install Now button. Then, when it's installed, click Activate. Good, we've just installed the PolyLang plugin. You will find it under the dashboard Menu Languages. Here you can find previously created languages on the right side and you can add new languages using the form on the left side. When you create your first language, you can go to Settings. As you can see, for now we don't have any. The third item is a Setup Wizard. Let's run it really quick. In the first stage, let's add the languages we need for our site. It will be English, then click on the Add New Language, then German, and then again click Add New Language, and finally Spanish, and again Add new language, then continue. The second step offers you to allow PolyLang to translate your media. I'll just continue. On the search stage, if you already have some pages or posts, plugin asks you to confirm which language they should be assigned to. I have English content. In the search step, we confirm the language of our homepage and the default language for the entire site. In the final step, it's an additional info. We are done here. Since we already created our languages, we can go to the settings. Here we can modify our link structure, set where we want the locale to be displayed or even hide the locale. Next we can activate the add-on that automatically detects the customer's browser language and redirects to the proper locale. Then we can activate the media translation, we saw that already in the setup wizard. Very important are custom post types and taxonomy translations. Query has lots of them, for example, post type services and post type products. If we open services, we don't see any opportunities for translation, the same with products, but we can return to settings and enable translation for these post types. Also, we can do the same for custom taxonomies. Click Save Changes. And now, if we refresh the page with services, we will see that they are now available for translation. And the same with products. If we update the page, we can translate them as well. The next group of settings is the synchronization of meta content for different posts and pages. Then we have two locked features available only for premium version and the license key info. And the last item we didn't check yet is Lingotag. Here you can enable free and premium add-ons. So we have three languages. English is the default one, all posts assigned to it. But if we check our site, nothing has happened yet. Let's first add the language switcher to our menu. Navigate Appearance Menus. First, make sure that in your screen options, you have the language switcher option enabled. Then on the left side, check the languages item and add it to the menu. It will appear at the end. So let's open it. Here you can set it to be displayed as a drop-down, add language names, flags, etc. I'll make it as a drop-down and add flags and then click on the Save Menu button. So now, if I refresh my page, I will have the language switcher in my menu. I still can customize it in my settings. If I click Edit, I can change the name, locale, flag, code, etc. I'll just change the full name to abbreviations.
Now if I go back and refresh the page, I will have a nice language switcher. I'm not going to translate the entire site, because it will take some time. I'll just show you how to translate one simple post. Here we have the title, drop cap, couple of paragraphs, link and quote. On the top bar, click Edit Page. On the right side, scroll down to the languages. I'll open the German translation in a new tab. Meanwhile, I'll simply translate the title with Google Translate, just to make it faster. But you use professional translation, please. I'll copy and paste the translated title. Now I'll copy the body of the post and also translate it with Google Translate. As you can see, it was copied along with the Gutenberg markup. That's good. If I copy the translation and paste it to my post, it will transform it to the nice post automatically. Once done, click Publish. Now when I open my post, it will be in German and it will look pretty good. Let's do exactly the same for our Spanish locale. On our English version, click Add Spanish version in a new tab. Again, copy our title and translate it into Spanish. Then paste it to our Spanish post. And do the same with the body of the post. Copy the translation along with the markup and paste it into our Spanish version of the post. Once done, click Publish. And let's see what we got. OK, that's the Spanish version of our post. We can switch to English. And we also have a German one. And again Spanish. But there are some parts of the page that were not translated. For example, these leave a comment and your comment strings. That can be easily done with local translate plugin. Navigate plugins, add new. Then in a search field, type in local translate. Install and activate it. You will find it in your left sidebar under the local translate menu. Go to themes and choose your theme. Next, let's quickly add our three languages, English, German and Spanish. We have a detailed video about the local translate plugin. So I will not focus on all the features it has. I will add the link to the description below so you can learn more about this plugin. The last one is the Spanish. OK, we've added three languages and let's translate two strings. Type in string you want to translate, leave a comment and below provide its translation. Click Save and do the same with the string your comment. And again, click Save. Now let's return back and do the same for the German locale. Type in leave a comment and enter the translation. Then save the changes and the same for the string your comment. Add the translation and save the changes. And now if we return to the German version of our post and refresh it, you will see that these strings are successfully translated.
and if we switch to the Spanish version, these strings will be in Spanish. This way you can translate all your posts, pages, products, custom post types and taxonomies. But please use the professional translation. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials.